then. Okay, time to split up. Good luck, everyone. Disperse! After parting with Minato, Kakashi's team headed straight for their target, Kanabi Bridge. Sometimes arguing, sometimes working together, moving ever forward. Finally, several days later, with their target in sight, the three took their final break. Moving into enemy territory had made them extremely tense. That was when it happened. She's coming with us. Hey, what did you do to her? Don't worry, she's just asleep. We'll be able to get a lot out of her. Let her go! Hmm. No! Come on, Kakashi, we gotta go after them! Hey, Kakashi! Kakashi? The two of us need to carry on with the mission by ourselves. What? Do you know what you're saying? Yes. But Reen! What about Reen? We'll think about Reen later. They want to know what our plan is, so they won't kill her straight away. We should be more worried about them learning our tactics. To a ninja, his mission is everything. That's the ninja code. The ninja code? There's something way more important than that stupid code! What about Reen? She's one of our comrades! She's helped us time and time again with her medical ninjutsu. She supported us the entire time! She's... She's a priceless friend! She did that because it was part of her mission. Forget it. You and I just don't get along. There's no point in discussing it anymore. You don't get it. You don't know what happens to people who break the code. Sure, maybe in the ninja world, those who break the rules are scum. But you know what? Someone who doesn't care about their friends is even worse. I'm going to help Reen. She's trapped in a Genjutsu. If you want to free her, you'll need to defeat us. But there's no way you could do that. Rain, I promise. Must have taken a lot of courage to come here alone. Sometimes courage just isn't enough. Unfortunately, your life ends. My arm's still shaking. Damn it! I'm only afraid because you're weak, Obi. Just a little more. Green. You think you're close, do you? To rescuing your friend? Huh? Fire style! Fire style! Hit me or what? You think like a kid, you act like a kid. You really think someone like me would fight seriously against a kid? Maybe you're not as useless as I thought you were. Yeah! 
<laughs> Come on, quit playing games, Taisuke. I will. Camouflage Jutsu! Give up. Die! K Kakashi? What are you doing here? Well, I couldn't leave a weakling like you on his own, could I? He's pretty tough for a kid. I think I'd better join you, Taisuke. Just in case. I'll take the lead here. Back me up, Obito. Let's do this! Obito, is Rin okay? They use Genjutsu on Rin. That's why! You'll have to defeat us if you want to snap her out of Fire style! Fire Guess there must be quite the manpower shortage in the leaf village. They must be crazy to send kids like you to war. Age doesn't matter. If you can fight, you fight. That's the ninja way of life. Our training system is worlds apart from yours, I guess. Oh, you know that? Definitely more than your average kids. dead yet. Just stay focused, Obito. We can use this to our advantage. I'll finish both of them now. I can, I can never, never back, back up what I say. I always rely on everyone for help. But still, there's one thing that I want to make sure I can back up. Duh. Your eyes! Obito, you've awakened your Sharingan! I'm going to save my friends! Huh? Whoa, whoa, seriously? Ready? Obito? You bet! I 
me off. Release! Kakashi, Obito! We're here to save you, Rin. You're safe now. You rescued the hostage and let your guard down. Don't you think it's a bit early to relax? You little leaf brats! <laughs> Earth-style rock breaker! This is bad! Run to the exit! Okay, Rin? Kakashi? Obito! No! Don't bother. It's no use, Kakashi. I think... I'm done for. Obito! 
No, but why? <laughs> Obido! Damn it! Why? If I had listened to you when you first said we should go after Reen, then this would never have happened. Some leader, some Jonin I am. Oh yeah, I forgot. I never gave you a gift to congratulate you on becoming a Jonin, Kakashi. I've been trying to come up with something good. And just now, I got an idea. Don't worry, it's not some lame gift you can't use. I want you to have my Sharon gun. I don't care what people back home say. You are a great Jonin. I truly believe that. Take this, please. I'm going to die now, but I'll become one of your eyes. I'll see what the future holds. Take Reen and go. More reinforcements are coming. But, Obito! Just go! Reen! Earth style! Earthquake slam! <laughs> Reen, grab onto me, quick! Kakashi, protect Reen. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Let's go. Am I dead? Wait. Hmm. Looks like you're awake. Sensei, why? This kunai is a marker for my transportation technique. What about the enemies? I took care of them. <laughs> what about Reen? Where's Reen? I'm sorry I didn't make it in time, Kakashi. Reen told me everything. The Third Great Ninja War. This long, 
drawn-out conflict came to an end after taking the lives of many nameless ninja. At the same time, it carved the names of a number of heroes into ninja history. The Battle of Kanabi Bridge. On that day, two heroes were born in the Hidden Leaf Village, each with their own Sharingan. The name of one is carved on a tombstone, while the other is known far and wide as Kakashi of the Sharingan. However, with the passage of time, even tales of heroism can unfold into cold, heartless reality. The fighting, the pain, the hatred. It goes on and on forever. between life and death, child of Uchiha. Your eyes, it can't be. You're from the Uchiha clan too? <laughs> well, if you can feel pain, it means you are still alive. So you saved me? Thank you. You can thank me later. You see, I intend to make you pay me back in full. Okay, what do I need to do? I need to get back to the Hidden Leaf Village. We're in the middle of a war. And now that I've finally awakened my Sharingan, I'll be much better at protecting my allies. Protecting your allies? What? You will not be able to go on working as a ninja with that body. Wake up. Nothing in this world goes the way it should. Would you shut up already? I don't want to stay here forever. <laughs> Enough. Neither of us can get out of here. Not with these bodies. Just who are you? I am... The ghost of the Uchiha. Madara Uchiha. Uh, Madara? But Madara already died ages ago. Then I suppose I am a relic from the past. It is true. If I was not receiving a steady supply of chakra from that statue back there, I would be dead in an instant. I am cheating death. Why would you capture a half-dead kid like me? We are going to break the cycle of cause and effect. Create a world with only victors. With only peace. With only love. A world that contains nothing but those things. Why should I care? Look, I just want to go back to my village, okay? If you want to die, that is your choice. But I shall take that eye of yours before you do. Why do you want my eye? You, you already have your own! And I am still missing a right eye. The Sharingan's true power is unleashed when the left and right come together, you see. So... That means if I stand shoulder to shoulder with Kakashi, I'll get even stronger. Then we'll really be able to keep Rin safe. Just another reason why I need to get out of here. Just wait, you two. I'm still alive. <laughs> I leave the rest to you. It's 
no use trying to act tough and hide your injuries. I've already seen them all. Reen. <laughs> he said her name again. <coughs> Hook, what the heck are you doing? I just saw that you had started mumbling about Reen again, so I got curious as to what kind of dream you were having. He... He always looks like such a loser when he's doing that. It's quite funny. He even drools sometimes. <laughs> hey, quit laughing, Guru Guru. Sorry. <sighs> it's been a while since I first got here. The first time I saw you, I was scared to death. You're puppets who were created from the statue, right? To us, you look like the real puppet. Yeah, you're human, yet half of your body is artificial just like ours. Worried about Madara? He went on and on about breaking the cycle of cause and effect or whatever, and then he goes to sleep forever. Oh, didn't you understand what Madara was talking about? Basically, his idea is to chuck out all the bad stuff in the world and run away to a dream world where everything's good. Since it's a dream world, you can do whatever you like. You can even bring dead people back to life. What? Now that just sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe to you. Shut up! You're way stupider than me! Bingo! <laughs> Jeez, I don't know if you're making fun of me, or if you're the idiot. But I guess, I guess there's, there's no, no point, point in worrying about, about that, that now. now. I just need to get used to this body as quickly as possible. Come on, you guys, time to get to work! Okay! More rehab, right? I take it you're ready? Of course! All right. Let's fight! about Kakashi. Which is the real one? Oh, well, aren't you clever? By the time I get back to the Dimly, I'll be super strong. You won't believe her eyes. Fire Sound! Fire Sound! That's all you ever talk about. Here I go! Fire Sound! Every time we fight, I realize just how well we grasp the basics of fighting. Of course I am! Minato sensei train me while Kakashi beat the crap out of me in all our sparring. Uh, that actually makes you sound pretty lame. Your body is composed of special cells. The 
pretty good now. Fire shot! Fireball Jutsu! Teach us we are. Fire shot! Fireball Jutsu! If you want. Sorry. confidence in myself now. <sighs> it feels good. I've gotten more used to it than before. I really feel at home in my body now. No more awkwardness. Rain, Kakashi. We'll be together again soon. Oh, no! Huh? I just went outside for a minute and saw that Reen person you keep talking about. She's in serious trouble! What happened? She and that Kakashi guy are surrounded by a bunch of hidden mist ninja! <laughs> you still can't break that rock yet. But I've got to go help Rin and Kakashi. Where my body then? But you work for Madara, right? Are you sure you're all right with this? You want to help your friends, don't you? Thanks, Guda Guda. Ah! Okay. You are leaving? I'm grateful to you for helping me. But yes, I'm leaving now. I have to! Okay, take me straight there! Okay, leave the navigation to me! My allies are standing guard all over the world. It'll be a cinch! How does it look? Uh, pretty bad. They keep talking about hidden mist experiments. I don't really get it. But there are a couple of dozen of them surrounding Rin and Kakashi. What is Minato Sensei doing? Who? I said, what do you think you're doing, Yellow Flash of the Leaf? I think he's wrapped up in another mission. He's nowhere nearby. Just when we need him most. Kakashi, you promised. Please. You've got to protect Reen. I'll be right beside you soon. Rain? No. That's spray from the collision. Reen and Kakashi are in there. What's your plan? Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna charge straight in! <laughs> what the... <laughs> Why am I seeing things? There's no way that actually happened! Kakashi and I were supposed to... Protect her!
<coughs> Back up. What an idiot. He's all alone. Take him out. Since it's a dream world, you can do whatever you like. You can even bring dead people back to life. Rain, we'll be together again. I'll make a world where we can be together again. I'm going to break the cycle. That's why I decided to come back. Do you think that anyone saw you? I'm the only witness. Obito annihilated every last one of them. But it looks like he spared Kakashi. He was unconscious though, so he didn't see anything. Still attached to your old ally, are you? No. I just didn't care about him. It doesn't matter to me whether he lives or dies in this world. He'll join us in the new world we create. And so will Reen. Madara, show me how to create the dream world. You do not need to thank me anymore. This way, 
As of today, you are our savior. The dream world is extremely simple to create. All you need to do is take everyone into the Genjutsu world I have created. But you need to use the moon to magnify the scale of the Jutsu. Yes, let us see. First, I need to educate you about the Sage of the Six Paths and the Ten Tails. And then, about my project, Tsuki no Me. In a previous battle, I obtained some of Hashirama's DNA and transplanted it into my own body. And then, when I was on the brink of death, I awakened my Renegon. At the same time, I also broke a certain seal. I summoned the ghetto statue, the empty vessel of the Ten Tails from the moon. Then, I quickly used the statue as a medium to cultivate more of Hashirama's DNA. The result was this. I transferred my will into these beings. They are half me. Now get to work. Until I can be reborn, you are my.